do I thrive in just anxiety? Because why is this? Did we not handle this before? This has now happened with the hair, nails, and then y'all, I am sad to report that the tattoo was not the vision. Good morning. It's photo shoot day. And I'm trying to keep my spirits high. <laughs> First of all, let's get into this makeup. What? What? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> she was not oh, paying any attention at all. Okay, the camera died while I was blow drying my hair. So y'all didn't get to see, but I know y'all see this link. One thing I know y'all see is this link. Where? Where? I'm not feeling cute. I look ridiculous. This whole combo is just very interesting. However, you know, what do you do when you have blown out hair and you're just going straight to the appointment? You throw on a cap or you put it in a bun and also then throw it under a cap. Like, it really has grown so much. Honestly, it's grown since the last time I blew it out, which is wild because that was only like a month ago or three weeks ago. But I wonder if someone told me this and I was like, I didn't even think about that. Is I've been taking prenatals. I think I told you all that. If not, surprise. I've been taking prenatals and they were like, um, has it made your hair grow? And I was like, you know, the hair has been hairing, but I didn't, I didn't think it had to do with the prenatal. But maybe it didn't, I just didn't know. Wow, cause this is, yeah, this is wild. I mean, my hair was starting to touch me, for sure. But I just don't remember this. I don't remember this. Time for me to head to the uh, hairdresser. Oh, I just thought of, she said cash only. And I might need to stop at the bank. On my way, oh. Oh, and I, oh. Can't forget the hair, because I definitely would love to get the hair. You know what's funny? Why should it be that I was supposed to do something to this hair? You know what? She just, wow. That would suck. Wash and condition the hair at least every week. Shampoo. Oh, okay. Hey. She can just install it. I'll wash it later. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, I don't be wearing bundles. This is like taking me back. Do I thrive in just anxiety? Because why is this, did we not handle this before? Why are we rushing now at this hour? Oh, it's in Whitehall. That's not close as I thought. Oh, 21 minutes, I gotta go. Aloha, it is Friday, February 2nd. Um, shout out to all the babies that were born in February. It's our time to shine. Meanwhile, GPS is going to be interrupting me this entire time, although I'm actually going to turn that off. Um, hello. I haven't checked in in probably a couple days. Can't remember. Um, it's been a little hectic. Not going to lie to you. Been a little busy at work, and then after work, I have been um, appointments after appointments after appointments to get my hair, nails, eyebrows, all the things ready for um, what for this photo shoot tomorrow. So um, I actually just remembered that my toes are not done. Um, I just need a color change and a shaping, I think. Um, and my nail tech was gonna do it for me and then we got completely sidetracked because we were running 
behind schedule so we never did that i just i literally just realized that as i was talking to y'all i just got my eyebrows done which you can't see really good because the sun is sunning but the eyebrows are eyebrowing shout out to that and i'm on my way to a tattoo appointment which i'm actually shook at the thought that i'm really headed to this eyebrow or eyebrow tattoo appointment because this will be more tattoo-y than any tattoos that I have. And I'm just a little nervous, you know? I mean, the ones that I have were like really feasible, really doable. They're like small words and numbers. So it was never really super intimidating for me. And like, you know, anytime there was like a feeling of like, oh, this doesn't feel good. It would be over, you know, so quick that I wouldn't even think about it. And then there's, this design that I'm getting, I will put it on the screen for y'all to see, because I'm literally headed there right now. In my mind, I was gonna like whole, like record this whole week and like give y'all behind the scenes and all the things. This is this is what y'all are getting, okay? <laughs> the speed version. Um, so basically I had an error on my tattoo uh, that I got in December of 2022. One of the verses that I had listed was wrong, and I don't even know. I still to this day have no idea how that happened. I I remember I was transferring, like I had all the verses written out, I had notes on them, I had their references out, and then I was transferring their references, like copy pasting the references into this design that I wanted, and I think I just copied one of them wrong, and like probably guessed instead of like triple checking, and I really thought I had triple checked, but it turns out. I was wrong with only one of the verses but I was wrong and it just bothers me like I don't like that it's like that and then also the tattoo artist I went to I don't think he was good with fine lines so like all of the wording was supposed to look exactly the same like just a thin yeah just like thin lines honestly I've seen so many tattoo art artists do like thin line designs that I know it's possible but he had like some of the letters were super like bold some of the letters were thin some of them look like they're not even there so i'm just like you know what i just need to give this tattoo fix if it's gonna be on me it needs to be right okay like i was never a tattoo girly and then i get on the train and i'm gonna have a busted up tattoo absolutely not so um i'm on my way to get that handled kind of had to go through the grapevine to find somebody that could do it all my well, I only have two tattoos, but both of them were walk-ins. One was a walk-in in Akron, and then the one that I'm gonna get fixed was a walk-in from Columbus. So I just assumed like it was very easy to do walk-ins, but I don't know if everyone's getting tattoos right now or what, but I had the worst time trying to find a walk-in spot that I like trusted and felt good about and that I you know, could afford, amen. Um, and so then I found this tattoo shop, which looks like it's black-owned, um, they got a five star rating, which I love. I mean, they don't have a ton of reviews. They must be newer, but they got enough to where, like, if they was on trash, it would not be a five star uh, place. So, I'm excited about that. And, yeah, so I had sent him, like, the design and everything, and he seems pretty confident. So, I'm headed there now. I'm just sad, like, I'm not with anybody. Although, the one I got on my right arm, the one that has to get fixed, I went by myself too. So I know I can do this. It's just like, this one is more of like a design. Like he's gonna draw some like leaves, basically like a vine through the scriptures that I have. And um, yeah, it's just gonna, you know, it's gonna have a little shading. <sighs> you know, it's just gonna feel a little different, so. But I believe in myself and I'm gonna do this. If you can see my hair is done, do not judge it based off of this angle, okay? <laughs> I will be honest, it is not my favorite. The stylist was, um, I don't know if I can say she was rushing because she took an hour over the time, but then she also like, um, I don't know, it's just like, there's stuff wrong with the style. I'm not even gonna pick them out because then I'm gonna feel like you guys are gonna stare at it and it's gonna be an issue and then I'm gonna be embarrassed. So I'm not gonna point the things out. Just know there's some very obvious things wrong with this style. <laughs> and right now I just have it clipped back because um, these are bundles obviously. And um, I just have it clipped back because I didn't style it today. Um, so yeah, 
it's not styled it's in literally a claw clip so do not judge the style right now oh also found out today that hubby cannot come with me to my photo shoot because he is on call at work so now I'm looking for a replacement because anytime I do a shoot, I try to do content because it's so few and far between. Like I would love to make photo shoots a little bit more of a regular part of my life, um, but they're just not currently. So when I go, I need the footage as well. And just the memory of it, you know? Like I just feel like the behind the scenes sometimes is better than the actual photos you get. Maybe that's just me. But yeah, so I'm gonna try to recruit one of my friends, hopefully, to come. We'll see, I'm still very excited. Honestly, at the end of the day, I'm still getting the pictures done. I still have hope that I'm going to be looking like something in the photos. I'm excited about the makeup artist. I'm excited and I'm still turning 30 regardless of what happens with these photos. So if it's a complete waste of money and time, no, that would suck. That would suck. I'm not even going to pretend like I would not feel no type of way about that. I would. But I'm going to speak positively right now, okay? Until I have a reason not to. I'm going to say this is all going to turn out great. Hello. It's like 9.20-ish. And um sitting here eating popcorn. Slightly guilt-free snack. While on the fit challenge. Today was my splurge because I needed something to calm my nerves down. Because y'all, my hair, we're gonna get it together, but my hair is not hairing as I intended for it to hair. Like this obviously is my hair, the leave out, which is actually very long. I'm actually a little surprised. Um, but yeah, that's my hair. So we need to magically blend that with these bundles at some point tonight and flexi rod all of this, which honestly shouldn't take long. But yeah, I've got to flexi rod all of this so that we're ready to go for tomorrow. My nails, two of the gems have popped off already. You probably can't tell. Oh no, you can tell. One's missing here and here. So I'm already losing gems on my fingers. No photo has even been taken. Lost one last night, lost one this, or lost one this morning. Lost another one this evening. And from nothing. I'm just pretty confident that there's not glue like all the way under them. So they keep getting caught like on strands of hair. Like if I scratch my head or something. And I'll just pull my finger back and they're popped off. So I guess I can't use my fingers. Um. So that's frustrating. It's just frustrating, guys, okay? And my nails already weren't like, like I love them. I loved them yesterday, but I think as I've sat with them, it just wasn't the vision, you know? And that happens sometimes. But this has now happened with the hair, nails, and then y'all, I am sad to report that the tattoo was not the vision it was kind of the vision but clearly I need to like well I'm probably never getting a tattoo again anyway I'm not like ink addicted or I'm not like those folks I had two very clear visions that came to me this one I love I've always loved it was my first one probably should have stopped there because this one on my right arm just keeps every round of it just I'd be like <laughs> It's getting worse, not better. The original version of it, I told y'all earlier, it had the wrong verse on it. My fault. Ink job, terrible. The guy, it was all spotty. It was just, it was a struggle. But I was, I had it for about a year. Just over a year. And then I was like, let me get it fixed before my photo shoot. Sent him a very clear vision that I told y'all. And this is what we ended up with. And honestly, from this angle, it looks as intended from a distance. If I go in close on this, which I will momentarily, I mean, it is still swollen. I literally just got it done a couple hours ago. This is it, okay? That's about the best angle you're gonna get. And 
if I could just show you all, I think I put in earlier what the actual vision was for this. And it, yeah, I'm thinking I should have invested more time in figuring out an actual tattoo artist that can do the thing. I don't know why in my head I had more faith in tattoo artists that most of y'all can do most of the things. You know, kind of like a primary care physician. They're, they may not be experts in everything, but if you talk to them about a thing, they've, they've got the remedy for you. Or they know where to send you if they can't do it. He was so confident, y'all. And I should have just known along the way his process was just giving me like, I don't know. But as you all know, once ink is in your arm, what can you do about it? And so he had drawn it out in Sharpie. Issue number one, because to me it looks like Sharpie. And I think that's where I'm struggling is I'm very much into minimal girl vibes, clean girl aesthetic. Not like intentionally, but that's just the vibe. I mean, you see, my first tattoo was literally, it took five minutes, not even, okay? It was just a little script phrase with a period. This one was just a cute minimal. I was very intentional about having like a thin font and verses all with the same kind of a format. It was a very clear, clean vision. And what I sent him was a very clear and clean vision. And the sad part is I've seen on Pinterest people having the tattoo that I actually wanted. Like, unfortunately I couldn't draw it out myself or maybe I should have tried. Um, but yeah, I've seen people with it like how I desired. And so I think the problem was giving him like free reign to interpret what I shared with him. And then again, drawing it in Sharpie so there was no clear way for me to see how the lines and things were going to look. And when he drew it, he was like, does this look okay? And I'm like, well, I said, are the lines going to be that thick? <laughs> Hello. And he was like, oh, no, they'll be thin. Um, they'll be thinner than that. And I was like, okay, yeah, like dainty thin. He was like, that's what you meant, right? I said, yes. I said, dainty, fine line. That's what I said. So I think it's the, like, hard, bold stencil look that's giving a little bit of graffiti. Whereas I was literally going for like artist drew on my arm type vibe. Do you feel what I'm saying? Like a sketch, like somebody did a pencil sketch, but on my arm. Very light, thin. Yeah. And you know, I could kind of tell now that I'm thinking back on it, I could kind of tell that he was going bold because I don't remember the needle hurting the other times I've done it. I remember feeling like, ooh, that's a weird feeling. But I don't remember like it hurting and I don't remember a significant amount of blood. When I tell y'all, this man was wiping my blood off my arm and had to be pressing very, very deep because like even now my arm still kind of stings, which I don't remember if that was the case with the other ones. Maybe it was. But, like, it hurt. Like, I actually was, like, wincing, bit my lip a couple times, like, just trying to think about anything else. I should have known that he was applying that level of pressure and it was going to look like a Sharpie mark. So, of course, everyone I've showed it to is, like, it's cool, it's fine, it looks great. I think you're thinking too hard. And I would probably agree. But you know, it's just that feeling of like having expectations. And when people ask me like, why do I just end up doing stuff myself? Because that's what I know it's gonna get done, right? You know what I'm saying? Like if I could have took that needle myself and handled it, I would have. But unfortunately, I'm not a tattoo artist. So I took it as far as I could go. And he was supposed to take me the rest of the way. And I have to be honest, I walked out of there I did one of them like when your hair, when your hairdresser do your hair and you don't like it, but you don't have the guts to tell you don't like it. So she had you to me and you be like, oh wow, it's great. And then you go cry in a puddle on your floor. I didn't cry surprisingly, but I was this close. I mean, I got in that car and I almost broke down. I got in the house and I kept taking the plastic off and holding my arm up by my face, by the mirror. I was just like, oh, wow. I've just got to get used to it. 
I've got to get used to it. So, and even like, okay, so these little poppy things here. I'm going to put a picture of like what I showed him so you can understand my frustration. Like he did dots. And I don't know why I settled for dots. Like why didn't I tell him, go ahead and shade that and make that look like an actual plant. Because right now it's giving, it's giving plant aesthetic, but it's not giving plant. You're catching the downside of my rant. I am hoping that eventually one day I'll wake up and be like, you know what, I love this. But as of right now, I feel like I look very hood. It's giving not me. It's giving you did too much. Like I had asked him to cover this burn, which he ended up doing with that second leaf there. But yeah, I had originally like sent him a picture of the whole area, circled the burns, like I wanna cover that. Blah, blah. He had done all of this down my wrist, which I didn't ask for. <laughs> I mean, I did not ask for it, but the design that I sent was not, I did not have no art all the way up here by my hand. And so, he did all that and, did, and didn't cover the burn. I was like, well, see that burn right there outside of the leaf you drew? That was what was supposed to get covered up over there on that side. He was like, oh, all right. let me see if I can find a way to do it. Uh, yeah. In all your creative liberties, my guy. <laughs> you didn't follow instructions. <sighs> so, you know, hey. You know, hey. It is what it is. I mean, you can't take tattoos back. The the surprising thing, the lettering looks great. His fill-in and redo of the, of the verses is gorgeous. And part of me is like, maybe we just should have stopped there. Maybe I should have put a rectangle block over the one that was wrong and made it feel like that was part of the design. And I should have just gone about my merry way. But you know, I pray that eventually it will grow on me. And that maybe this is my vibe. <laughs> Somebody understands. The little dainty cute tattoos was just, it was the vibe. And this is so not dainty. This is, wow, pow, look at my arm and look at my tattoo. <laughs> Somebody out there is saying, and see, this is why you shouldn't get a tattoo. You know what? And maybe you're right. And maybe you're right. But I guess since I didn't take super crazy risks, in my life and have the crazy teenager stage that this is what I get, you know, at 29, almost 30. I have a oopsie tattoo. Everybody's got something. Every, everybody's got something, okay? And at least mine is Bible verses, you know? At the end of the day, it's Bible verses. I wanted the plants to be like the vine, the verse about I am the vine, you are the branches remain in me. And you will bear much fruit. That was the vibe of the vine going through. So, you know, hey, I'm gonna rock it like it was on purpose. And honestly, this is this used to be my reason to just not do stuff around my birthday because it just feels like like if this was any other day, I just feel like nothing would be going wrong. I wouldn't be losing gems on my fingers. My hair wouldn't have turned out like it did. You know what I'm saying? The tattoo would have been right. But I'm like, is it me? Like, do I get anxious around these times and rubs off on all of my circumstances? Or is it just like big events and big moments just get pooped on? Ah, oh. I mean, I, I did a PhD for all the years and then COVID took away my graduation. My God, today, it's just like, huh? All the big moments, huh? You can't let me have one. I'm not gonna go there because then I'll spiral and that ain't nothing but the dirty old enemy trying to make me think that my birthday's ruined 23 days early. So, are y'all praying for me? <laughs> are y'all praying for me? I promise this vlog is gonna get much more exciting. Hopefully tomorrow will end up being a great experience. I'm believing for that. But right now, I'm going to flexi wrap my hair and get myself together. Just wanted to update y'all before I do that, okay? I love you. 
and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It's photo shoot day and I'm trying to keep my spirits high. <laughs> I am trying very hard. I know I look ridiculous. Um, I called myself allegedly going into the mall at Easton to um, find an outfit. I think I told y'all I was gonna do that. Ended up that um, my husband had something to do at 9 a.m. in Easton. So I was like, oh, I'll drop you off and then I'll go look at clothing. Um, turns out nothing in the mall opens until 10. So I was sitting in the car literally for an hour and 15 minutes now. And even when it hit 10, I was like, um, how can I really feel okay going in public with these big giant flexi rods in my hair? Um, I was hoping no one would really be there. However, Easton be popping. So literally, the saints are out walking. They're out and about. There was no hiding myself. Also, sorry for the lighting. Um, driving all between buildings. Um, but yeah, there's tons of people out and I was just suddenly no longer comfortable. And then I was like, you know what? I reminded myself of some cargo pants that I have in my closet that I believe still fit. Um, since I've lost a couple pounds with this challenge, I'm gonna say they fit. I'm gonna say that they still will fit. And um, then I was like, okay, what if I make something shake with that? Um, and try to do because I just I want a casual look that will go well with the new balances So I started putting it together in my head. The problem is I don't really have an oversized black blazer But then I was like, okay, maybe I can wear the blazer from Shein um, It's oversized Of course, it's not oversized on my arms, <laughs> but I don't know I just kept thinking like maybe there's a way to make that work I don't know. And if not, I'm like, maybe I just stick to the two outfits and don't stress about it. Like, I don't know. It was starting to make me emotional trying to like make all this work. And like, I just feel like weird stuff keeps happening. I just, you know, I'm like, this is why people pay people to do all of this coordination and stuff for them, outfits and all, because this is a lot to just, yeah, and then I'm missing boot camp this morning for this. <sighs> and I'm just like, I don't really like that because I've been enjoying going to boot camp consistently. So it's okay. I'm, I, I think I'm just processing out loud. Um, needless to say, I ended up like, you know what? I'm gonna go get me a little protein bagel and wait for my husband to be done because he's still not done. Um, my makeup appointment's at 12.45 and I want to be like showered and stuff before then so I'm like honestly me trying to run around and get clothes and have these flexi rods in my hair and not deal with people staring it's just not how I want to start my morning so I'm going to make some shake out of something that I own and if it doesn't work then the two dresses from Shein are going to be the look first of all let's get into this makeup what what 10 out of 10 10 out of 10. Oh, something had to come through for me. And it was the makeup artist. Shout out to her. Also, these flexi rods are coming through for me. If I sound like I'm rushing, I am. <laughs> Only because I realized that I did want to pick up some flowers beforehand. And I sure wish I had gone yesterday. Yes! Flexi rods. I need to be leaving like now. So I want to take these out because it's one less thing I have to worry about. And like I like the curl curl, but part of me wants it to fall a, a tiny bit, a little bit. She was so cool, y'all. And she's a believer. She had the tunes going in the background. I said, Oh, wait a minute, sis. You know the Lord. You served him. Low key, some of the music, I was like, wait, I've never heard this song, but it's fire. 
I've actually heard she ended up sending it to me and I've heard of the artist recently um I haven't listened to her music unless like something came up on my playlist but Madison Ryan Ward a vibe very much a vibe I was like oh I like this so she sent it to me and I shall be vibing I might play it at the shoot like it's that kind of a vibe kind of like R&B but Jesus my belly all that oh y'all can't see that okay great <laughs> wow these are gorgeous and I'm stunned I'm quite literally stunned we'll mix them in and make them look how I want them to look once I get there bike cement and finish screaming hold that's sounding like this is a bad idea and I do not have I don't have another hairspray so I'm just gonna do it from a distance can do the braids a lot with the other hair whoa I'm just gonna do a little light spray okay all right okay all right oh and my new balance is oh and i didn't get didn't get hangers It's about to be insane. Look up these pictures. Modeling contracts. Go ahead and get signed her. Look at look at this. Insane. When I tell you, Are you me eating right down. Y'all are getting official BTS. Okay. Just wait. It's gonna be so good. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Sorry, we're extra. Clearly, we are. Like. Look at these. Look at her. <laughs> the face is sitting, y'all. The hair, the jewelry, like, she looks so good. Just wait. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 
to say to end the, the I birthday mean, vlog I mean what is what is my life you did this it this came together I've been spazzing all week for nothing and it came together Girl. like you did you that the drama was for peeking out the white shirt was fire Ooh, let's see oh, let's see let's see Ooh. okay It's love day and I have been in certified lover girl mood all day long. And so I wanted to make sure my husband knows that even though he spoiled me a little bit today, that he also deserves some spoiling. So I'm at Target and I'm gonna run in and make something cute. I'm thinking like a little basket situation, nothing crazy. I've actually done stuff like this for him before. So I don't know, I'm gonna try to make it special in some kind of way, but we're gonna get him some cute stuff in Target. Let's go. long time no chat don't mind what I look like right now okay it's my 30th birthday weekend can we just I'm about to be 30 in three days that is absolutely insane and I just knew I had to start recording like I have things to say I have things to share you all have been a part of so many of my milestones so of course I'm going to vlog my 30th birthday okay um but we are kind of rushing a little bit this morning <laughs> Not really, absolutely not really actually. But um, there's this research forum that I'm a part of today on campus at OSU and our um, center is doing a presentation later on in the afternoon, um, I think at two. But then in the morning we have a exhibit table so we're just there telling people about who we are, what we do and all the things. Um, and that starts at 9.15 so it is currently eight. 34 <laughs> yeah okay here's the funny thing it's like it's like in shifts so we don't even have to be there the entire time maybe that's why I'm so chill this morning I don't know give me a little bit of a break and I'm gonna take a mile okay if you say I don't have to be there right on time and that's not a big deal I'm working on it but right now that is my license to be like oh it's fine so and it's my birthday weekend okay what somebody else will be there <laughs> Anyways, I made a very dumb decision last night. Yeah, it was a dumb decision. I didn't look at the weather and I was tired of, so I got stitch braids actually just last week. Um, long story short, the hairstyle that I had for my birthday photo shoot um, didn't, it was a hot mess. I think I told you guys, but I can't remember if I told you guys. I will literally, actually no, I'm not going to insert pictures and videos because I really like the hairstylist. <laughs> and I want to go back to her and I don't want y'all to flame her for how that initial hair turned out. But literally, y'all, West was sticking out on the sides. It fell apart. Actually, it was already not together when I left. I didn't recognize it until I got in the car. 
and then like later that evening it was just like stuff was revealing like crooked braid all the things don't go looking for these things in my birthday photos okay actually i think my birthday photos disguise it well i ended up flexi riding the hair to like really cover and blend my leave out but yeah that hairstyle was just not it was not a keep in for weeks hairstyle and then the condition that she did it in it didn't even last a week y'all i literally took it out i think i I had it in, I got it done on Wednesday. My photo shoot was on Saturday. I took that hair out by Tuesday, I think, of the following week. So yeah, it was in for like six days, kid you not. That's how um, awful it was. So I ended up going back to her and she, I just wanted stitch braids. Um, she offered to, she was like, I see the issue, I'm so sorry. Like she wanted to put it back in, but I was like, I was over that hairstyle, just, you know, the joy and excitement I had for it got ruined and so I was just kind of like over it. So I got stitch braids the Tuesday before Valentine's Day. So I've had those in for like a week and a couple days. And I think because of like the length of my hair currently, like naturally, it was like just under where the base is and that's where I was tying my scarves and so my hair just started coming out. It's not her fault at all. They were clean, fire. I probably could have gone a little longer. But it's my birthday this weekend. I just didn't want to look feel dusty. You know, I just didn't want to feel like, yeah. And my hair either grows super fast or something because the stitches were gone. It was literally just hair and then a braid. And the stitch is like my favorite part of those kind of braids. So anyways, I took it out last night, washed my hair. And I was like, oh, I can give the girls blowout all week long, weekend long. I will give them curled blowout. And then I looked at the weather, y'all, and literally, we haven't had no thunderstorm in, I couldn't tell you. I can't remember the last thunderstorm. I think it was last summer. But we had a thunderstorm last night. It started literally in the middle of the night. And then, if you look at the weather, it's literally raining all day today until like 8 p.m. So tomorrow and the rest of the weekend is going to be great. But today, rain all day. And I have to go outside. Like if I was working from home, it'd be fine, but I literally have to go outside to go to this research farm. So there is no reason I should have blown my hair out last night. I literally am envisioning me taking this hair down, walking outside and turning into a lion's mane. And then I have to give a presentation to people with my hair looking like a lion's mane. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. No, no, no. I can. I can. I can. So I think that's it. I think I just need less. Cur oh no. It's getting bigger. It's going back to the 70s. <gasps> All right, y'all. This is what we landed on. How do we feel about it? It's still interesting, but it's an interesting that I can live with. All right, this is it. This is, oop, I'm too tall. This is the look. I put these on, because I don't really have business flats. Because when I say this hair is a mess, it actually held up a little bit more than I expected, but. I'm just chilling. It's currently 8.20. My parents just left. They were here for quite some time. I feel like they were here probably about four hours. They brought dinner for me and Luther. Luther's not home yet. He's still out working on a plumbing job, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, so we were just chilling, talking about life, talking about all the things, reminiscing on baby stories of me, which was great and hilarious for me to hear their perspective of raising me and me being a baby and stuff. That's amazing. Um, so yeah, we were laughing, having a good time, and uh, they just headed out. But they'll be here all weekend, so I'm excited about that. But good news, my clothes came in. I got three sets. Um, we got this one. We got this one. I thought I got the green. I guess I got the brown. No, it says olive. Okay. Um, maybe it's just the lighting. 
that set. And I got an orange set. So, I'm thinking one of the pattern ones for Sunday, my actual birthday. Um, and then the orange one I think I'm gonna wear tomorrow for like the candle making uh, situation. Ooh, it feels good. Wow. Oh no, I can already tell. I can already tell. These pants are not long enough. If that's long enough, the design is just, I'm loving, it's giving marble, it's giving luxe. Okay, like the immature I am, none of my batteries are charged. I literally have three batteries in rechargeable uh, situation and all three of them are, well, the other two are dead, this one is only half full, so I'm gonna talk very fast to get this unboxing done before the battery dies. And of course this bag doesn't wanna open. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, this is definitely a different type of material. It's a, it feels a little more um, expensive, honestly. It's definitely not, see no, well, not as see-through. Okay, uh, this is cute. I don't know, I may have to do this one on Sunday. Ooh. All right, let's check the pants. That's always the ultimate test. That's all girlies understand. Yes! <gasps> the face you make when two sets of pants are not flooding as you hold them high-waisted? She and could never. She and could never. Every set, every pair of pants I've ever bought from She and is always flooding. Always. Oh no, battery dying. Okay, hurry, hurry, hurry. Ooh, this is even still a different material. Oh my gosh. It feels so luxe and it's so soft. Okay, we love that. Final pants check. These are even longer than the other two. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh.
No? See, one person would. Oh no, my battery's dying. Uh, nah. <laughs> yeah, I have two more in my pocket, but um, I think we were supposed to cross down there. I love y'all. Y'all are the best. 